Hi, Assalamualaikum and with me again, Teacher Rin. Today, I will explain to you the fourth and fifth law of indices, which is zero index and negative index. Let us review the first law for today, which is zero index. A to the power of zero will give us the answer one. How did you get it? Here how we'll get the answer. A cubed divided by A cubed equal like this. A cubed per equal A cubed. Right. So this is how we we'll solve the question. A times A times A divided by A times A times A. And then we cross which are the same. So A, 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 A. And then here we got 1 over 1. So 1 over 1 equals to 1. Or we can do like this. A cubed divided by A cubed equals to A 3 minus 3. Did you remember that we have learned about division of indices if we divide the same base so the the index should be minus right so a 3 minus 3 equals to 0 a to the power of 0 is equal to 1 thus a equals to 1 with condition a is not 0 now you just need to understand that any number that have the power of zero will give one as the answer. Okay. Now we proceed to the next law of indices, which is negative index. A to the power of negative n will give the answer one over a to the power of n. How to do this? So look at the question. Change each of the following to 1 over a power of n and vice versa. Alright, the first example. 4 to the power of negative n, you will get 1 over 4. How do you get it? Okay, look at this. Negative power will change to 1 over. Okay, negative negative power will change to 1 over okay so we bring 4 as the numerator okay and then the answer is 1 over 4 why there is no power for the 4 because for power of 1 we will write it as 4 only okay let us see the second one 6 to the power of negative 5 will give the answer 1 over 6 to the power of 5. Alright, how do you get it? Negative will change to 1 over. And then 6 power of 5 will go as the numerator. And then the answer is 6 power of 5. So the final answer is 1 over 6 to the power of 5. Alright. Okay, let's move on to the next question. If you have 2 over 3 to the power of negative 5, what should you do? Okay, as I said before, if there is negative in the index, you must put 1 over, right? But here, the question is in fraction form. So, easily understood that fraction, if you want to change the form, okay, you just switch the numerator and denominator so the answer is 3 over 2 and the to the power of 5 no negative hope that you can understand how to change the index between the negative form to the positive form or vice versa okay let us see some example topic okay the first one may be the question asks you to state the following terms in positive index form or uh, the question asks you to state the following terms in negative index form and the final one is simplify the 
following. Okay, we will look uh, for each question. Okay, number one. 5x to the power of negative 3, okay, means we will uh, change the term from uh, negative index form to the positive index form. So the answer here is, okay, negative. Okay. Because it's 5, so 5 here, all right, and as I said before, if negative, yeah, negative, okay, it will change to 1 over, right, but because the 5 is in front, so we don't need to put 1 over. Okay, 1, 1 over. So, no need to put 1. Lah. Alright, so, okay, I, I will cancel it out. Okay, you just put 5 over. Alright, 5 per, okay, so, eh? 5 over, okay, x to the power of 3. Okay, this is the final answer. Okay, so the second one. Alright, this is a negative index form. So, the, how to get the positive index form? Alright, here I, as I have explained before, if you have the question in a fraction, so what should you do? You just Okay, change the numerator and denominator. Maksudnya apa? Tukar. <laughs> okay, tukarkan bawah ke atas, atas ke bawah dan tukarkannya menjadi positif. Mudah je kan? Alright, so next question. State the following term in negative in that form. So, from positive, you want to change to negative. For number one, okay. One over is equals to negative, right? So, we just bring all the, the down here, apa, nominator F5 ni. Alright, we just put negative. Okay, to make it, uh, to make it nice. Okay, right. Okay, I just put 4 uh, F, alright, to the power of negative 5. Okay, so now the second one. Huh. The same question, but it have negative 4 for the first uh, question the, on the upper one. Okay, now the second part, we just, what should we do? Yeah, we just change okay, the place, which is x over y. And then we put the negative. Okay, hope that you can understand this. Okay, we will go further to the simplify. Okay, how to simplify? Simplify, we will uh, combine all the uh, method, all the law that you have learned before. Okay, ah, three questions. Alright, number one. Okay, I will show you the number number one. Okay, for, okay, this is uh, what? Okay, uh, multiplication, this is division so hope you you remember about the index okay uh, the main here is this base must be the same okay base mesti sama asas dia so 4 4 4 sama means so the, the final answer should be 4 lah all right the index 2 okay times uh, multiply means the index will be plus okay and then 4 yeah, four. Uh, multi. Uh, divide will sh uh, will change to negative. Uh, sorry, minus eight. Right. Okay. So this is the second step. Okay. Uh, sorry. Ah. Uh, okay. Bye. Bye. All right. And then after that, four. Two plus four six six minus eight is apa? Negative two. Okay. If you get this. Okay, the final answer should be apa? Okay, negative, right? So, you change it 1 over, okay, 4 to the power of 2. Okay, so that is the answer. Okay, we will continue to the second one, which is here. Alright, here is the third law of indices, which is Power to the power. 
how should how must you do this okay you must times can multiply this all right four and two so two to the power of four times two means eight all right and then multiply by three okay five three means five times three is 15 right so three to the power of 15 all right then divide by okay here eight okay and then times two so two to the power of 16 okay times three to the power of six times two is 12 okay and then now we will continue with the next step okay can we uh, combine this no okay why because the uh, base is not the same two and three is not the same base okay so no combination of two and three okay you cannot combine so you just need to uh, simplify here okay 2 2 and 3 3 so 8 divided by uh, 2 to the power of 8 divided by 2 the, to the power of 18 what should you do to the index index if you divide so index must be minus all right so you must subtract the index so 2 is what 8 minus 16 all right hope you can understand lah all right and then times 3 15 minus 12 okay i put here 15 minus 12 all right so the final answer is 2 negative six, uh, sorry negative 8 times 3 okay to the power of 3 all right okay here got negative in that so the final answer will be what okay because this is positive so it will stay on the top and then the negative will go down to to the power of eight okay uh, here's how you simplify okay so this is the final answer all right let us see the third one Okay, third one, you will combine all the uh, knowledge, all the law of indices that you have learned. Okay, so get ready. Okay, now 4 to the power of 2, 8 to the power of 2, and y to 2. Okay, ah, careful. Huh? So 4 okay, to the power of 2 means what? 4 to the power of 2, jadi 16 lah. Okay, x two means x two lah okay y two 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 times two y four okay and then times ini kita just salin balik dulu okay you just copy it okay and then this one two to the power of five maksudnya berapa okay two to the power of five is thirty two okay kalau tak ingat guna kalkulator x to the power of 3 and 5 3 times 5 okay x 15 and y 5 okay okay now what can you do here is ah, multiplication ah. all right so equals okay sorry no equals uh, okay equals 16 16 lah okay actually you can do it uh, in more uh, in faster way lah Macam mana? Okay, nombor you, uh, kamu selesaikan semua nombor. Okay, 16 divided by 32 means, apa? Ini 1, ini 2 lah. Kan? Okay, X lah. Kita buat X lah. Kita cuba-cuba eh. Okay, 1, 1. Jangan tak payah tulis. Yang atas eh. So, X. Ha, tengok. Kita tengok apa yang asas X. Okay, yang asasnya X adalah persetan. Dah warna lain sikit. Okay, this one. This one and this one x kan so <coughs> you just put x okay 2 uh, times kan maksudnya 2 tambah apa 5 dia turun bawah jadi tolak 15 boleh ikut okay y pula 
Y, ok. Y, 4, betul? Ni 4, ok. Tambah, ni berapa? Tak ada, min 1, ok. Turun bawah, maksudnya tolak 5. Ok, ini 1 per 2, kita tak depan lah. Ok, 1 per 2. Alright, so the answer is 1 over 2. Ok, berapa ni? X2, uh, 2 plus 7, ni, eh, 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 minus, so jadi X uh, minus H. Ok, Y 4 times. Ok, 4 plus 1, 5. 5 minus 5, 0. Ok, so the final answer, ok eh. Hati-hati sini, negatif. Nah, Y ni akan jadi 1 kan? So, negatif maksudnya, ok, 1 di atas ini 1 lah ni. Hati-hati betul-betul ni. Tengok betul-betul saya buat. 1, alright, over, ok, 2 kan? X ni kena duduk di bawah kerana ada negatif. So, X, H, ok. Y ni dah jadi apa? Y uh, to the power of 0 is 1 kan? So, darab 1. Kita okay, tulis lah. Darab 1 tulis bila bagi kamu nampak. So, the final answer is 1 over 2H to the power, uh, X to the power of H. Ha. Okay, hope that you can follow my uh, my explanation. Okay, uh, that's all for this Lesson, uh, we will see to the next, uh, see in the next class, which is fractional indices. Thank you.